part two of a mind-blowing stat about the pallet recycling business. We did part one the other day. Now we're on part two, and I'm going to bring it home and show you this stat for you to understand and visualize how big this niche is. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be sure to help you understand why this is important to know and how it can affect your life in a positive manner by knowing this information. So today, we're going to work on this particular problem here. We're going to stack 2.5 billion pallets that are laying around the United States for us to access on top of each other, okay? And we're going to see how high do they go. So let's say on average, the average pallet is six inches tall, okay? Um, and so, yeah, six inches tall to an average pallet. And so what would happen if we took those 2.5 billion pallets, stacked them on top of each other, how high is that stack going to be? And when we learn the answer to this, it's going to be quite mind-blowing. It was even to me, and I've been around this business for 25 years. So 2.5 billion pallets times 6 inches equal 15 billion inches. So now we got to convert that into feet. So we're going to divide it by 12 inches. So by 12, 15 billion divided by 12 equals 1,250,000,000 feet. Okay. Now, since we have the amount of feet, we got to figure out, all right, how many feet are in a mile? So there's 5,280 feet in a mile. So we're trying to figure out how many miles high is this stack going to be? of pallets so how many miles high would it would that make this stack of pallets so if we had 1 billion 250 million feet divided by a mile which is 5,280 feet that would equal 236,742 miles high so that's hard to comprehend well how, how high is that john so this is just stacking the pallets on top of each other again well, this is where it gets crazy, people. Guess how many miles there, you know, how many miles it takes for us to get to the moon? That would be 225,623 miles. So this means the 2.5 billion pallets just in the United States if stacked on top of each other would easily reach the moon with about 10,000 miles to spare. With 10,000 miles to spare. Why is this important? I'll tell you why. You know, back in 1998, I didn't know what a pallet was. I never paid attention to them. 99% of the population doesn't pay attention to them. But now when you hear a stat like this, you realize the massive quantities of this invisible product laying around every town, city, and municipality in the United States. Actually, throughout the world. We didn't do the throughout the world stat, which is around 9 billion pallets. We're just talking in the United States. And you start to understand wait a minute, why have I not been paying attention to all this? And how can I use this huge quantity of pallets that are out there to cut my sliver for myself as a business person, get my sliver of pallets out of these 2.5 billion, and monetize them in a way to where it frees up my life and time and where I don't have to trade time for money anymore. So I want to ask you to make it your mission over the next week or two to keep your eyes open on every truck going down the highway. Anytime you go up to maybe a industrial area or a shopping center or whatever, keep your eyes open for wooden pallets. And you're going to start to see them. 
or even if you don't see them, like in a semi truck, you know they're in there. You know, either stacked up with goods on them. It's what moves everything. And knowing that that stack would reach the moon helps you understand how much of a necessity this innate lump of wood is to the operational success of the United States and the world. Because everything has to be moved. I've said this story before, I'm going to say it again. The old tale about the gold miners. You know, they say, well, you could strike it rich finding the gold. Well, the people who actually made the money who are the ones who sold the picks and shovels to the miners. Think of the pallets as the picks and shovels of the gold rush. The gold rush is the movement of products all over the United States through the internet and this, that, and the other. But the picks and the shovels, in this case, is the pallet that moves all these items that are needed by these businesses to operate, to move their goods. But the other half of the businesses out there, it ends up being a byproduct of their business. And, and when I'm talking pallets, I'm talking all varieties. I'm not even talking, let's, we can exclude standard pallets out of the game. There's so many varieties of pallets out there to, to be accessed besides the 4840 standard pallet that we can work with and sell if you know what you're doing to monetize this in a way and become part of a business model that is built basically into the fabric of the United States and make it where you benefit the business you're uh, extrapolating the pallets from and they're loading them on your trucks and taking them away. You're solving their problem. They do not want these anymore. And then you're helping the buyer as well sustain his business because if he doesn't have these pallets, his business comes to a complete standstill. So there it is in a nutshell. That's why this matters. And that's why you as an individual out there should keep your eyes open concerning this. And as you know, I train people on how to set this business up and help people in a situation who are sick and tired of what they're presently doing, working by the hour, working by the salary, working in a, cu in a cubicle, driving too many miles away from home by, for too many hours. We put people in a position where we can erase those issues and you not have to work your uh, fingers to the bone or your mind till it's mush and have a simple, straightforward, tangible business that can transform your life in a way. If you hustle, if you get out there and actually take action in a way that will benefit not only you, but your family, because you'll actually be able to spend more time with them and have more money at the end of the month to have some fun for a change with your life and have options that you currently don't have. And that's what this really is about. And simultaneously helping the businesses that we deal with. So my name is John Wilker, owner of the simplestbiz.com. Go there, opt in for more information. If you have questions, we can do a quick chat with you on the phone and and if you choose to move forward on that, we'll send you some information after the call. Um, that's all I got for now. Again, that's these stacks of pallets in the United States would reach the moon and even 10,000 miles back toward the Earth if we stacked them on top of each other. Crazy. Have a good one.